We're social distancing and washing our hands, but naturally we're asking what else can we do to avoid coronavirus? Now, there are loads of stories doing the rounds claiming certain supplements and food can protect us by boosting our immune system. So I'm speaking to our expert, Shafali, to find out if there's any truth in five of these claims. Shafali, while we're all social distancing, most of us will of course be staying in more than usual, getting less vitamin D from the sun. So I'm wondering, is now the time to start taking vitamin D supplements? The government recommends that anyone over the age of one should take 10 micrograms a day, especially during the winter months. Now, seeing as you say, we're all inside a little bit more at the moment, there's definitely no harm in continuing to take those a little bit longer. Vitamin D is a really important nutrient for immune health. However, vitamin D supplements are not going to stop you getting coronavirus. Now there's a lot of talk about probiotics. So in my fridge at the moment, I've got yogurt drinks claiming to boost my immune system. And I actually started making kombucha a few months ago for that reason. But is there any research to back up these claims? If you enjoy having those yogurts and kombucha, then by all means carry on. However, the science that they improve the health of everyone just does not exist. And because of that, Probiotics and prebiotics aren't allowed to carry any health claims. How about vitamin C, especially if at the moment you're stuck in with less fruit and veg than you usually have in your diet? Vitamin C is a really important nutrient to keep your immune health functioning properly. However, you do not need to take supplements. There are lots of fruit and vegetables that contain vitamin C. And actually, it's really easy to get your daily requirements from eating those. Now, the issue with vitamin C is it's a water-soluble vitamin, so your body can't store it. That means you have to have it every single day. And it also means that high-dose supplements are a total waste of money, because once your body's taken what it needs, it will pee out the rest. I've also heard good things about echinacea. What is it, and can it really fight a virus? Echinacea is a plant that lots of people take as a herbal supplement, but actually the science shows that when antioxidants are taken in supplement form, they just don't work the same as when they're consumed as part of whole fruit and whole vegetables. And aside from supplements, are there any foods or superfoods, say garlic, lemon or turmeric, that can help our body's defences? The term superfood is actually meaningless. There's no single food or ingredient or nutrient that can change your body's immune system. Food does impact our overall health. So following a varied and balanced diet that includes lots of fruits and vegetables can help to keep you healthy. However, in terms of coronavirus and protecting yourself, the best thing you can do is follow government advice which includes washing your hands regularly, not touching your face and social distancing.